Behind me, we got the MY21 D Max. This Isuzu is a great looking vehicle, but off road animal is going to make it look even better. First up, we got a bull bar going on, the Predator bull bar. We're going to put the accessories on that that every bull bar should have, be it a winch, lights, and a UHF radio. Then we got the scout roof rack going on, the off road animal rock sliders, the adventure rack on the back, a rear bar, a pull out tray, all the bits you need to take your D Max off road. Let's get that bull bar on now. got the off-road animal impact absorbers fitted to the car. These are great here for still allowing your airbags to work in the event of an accident. One last cool feature about them, the recovery points are part of the mounts here, so you can still use them to be recovered while you got a full bull bar on. So the off-road animal Predator bar is ready to go on the D-Max. Now for this particular model, we highly recommend that you get the fog lights and the indicators put on before the bar goes on the car. We've also got the optional stealth hoop on this one with a 22 inch off-road animal light bar in it and an extra off-road animal 22 inch light bar inside the bull bar. Ready to go on the car and then we're going to put in a worn VR Evolution 10,000 pound winch. Just put the winch in this one with the three mesh panels on the outside. Now, it's fine to put the winch in during the install of the bar, makes it nice and easy. However, if you're not putting a winch in, you still can easily put the winch in without removing the bar later. Fantastic thing about the off-road animal bars is allowing you to do that so you don't have to realign the bar later. All you need to do is take off these three mesh panels, drop in the winch, put the mesh panels back on, and away you go. Really nice feature for those wanting to put a winch on after they put the bull bar on.
we took the DMAX to Dominson's to get the suspension lift sorted out. They put a fantastic MRA kit on, which is fully adjustable. You got rebound adjustment on the shaft and you got low and high speed compression adjustment on the canister. This allows you to dial in your D-Max for whatever terrain or setup you've got. Now what would really finish this package off is a great wheel and tire combo that will get your mates frothing. Wheel and tire package. Chris, tire. <laughs> so where were we? Wheels and tires, frothy mates? Yes, we have the Method Race Wheels 312 here, which are 17 by eight and a half, zero offset, wrapped with Maxxis Muddy's Razor, which is a 285 70 17. Slap these on, but with the zero offset, they're gonna stick out just a little bit. So we got some flares color coded, which we're gonna put on, cover them up nice. and tires and suspension are on. It's time for the off-road animal rear bar. It's a steel protection bar, but it's also a tow bar rated to three and a half ton. Now there's a lot of fancy tech on the back of your D-Max and we're gonna transfer it from the car to the bar. Okay, here we can see the tech that's behind the bar on your D-Max. So this is the sonar here, which helps with your lane keeping. Now we need to relocate that into the off-road animal bar so it still works as intended. Now we do supply this plastic cover to keep it protected. So when it relocates into the area, we normally have a step for all, all our other rear bars. For this one, it's just gonna take your sonar. Now we've also got the parking sensors here. So we reuse the factory housings, which just clip into the rear bar. That way, they're still gonna work as intended. All right, the factory bumper does need to be trimmed here and fits back on the vehicle, just a small section of it, which just finishes it off nice right above where the new off-road animal bar is gonna go. So we've marked it out and we're just gonna trim it off and then put the section back on. You can use an angle grinder or an air hacksaw. relocated the number plate, we need to add some number plate lights. So Offered Animal includes these LED number plate lights, which go along the side of the number plate to illuminate it. The factory ones are up high facing down so they don't work with the bar. We also include some pitch weld. So you put it along the top trim of the bar and that protects the car when you actually put the bar on as it's nice and sexy and holds tight to the vehicle. All right, now it's time to put the bar on. We're gonna cheat and use this hydraulic table because we're lazy. You can just use two people to lift it on if you want. Here we go, let's get it on. Okay, the bar is on, all finished, bar one thing. The most important thing, you really need to put your compliance plate on. This says your towing capacity is three and a half ton. You need to have this on the bar at all times. Uh, we generally peel off the backing and put it underneath the crossbar here. So if you need to see it, it's under there. Don't forget to put that on. Up next, we got the Scout roof rack. The Scout roof rack is a low profile aluminum lightweight rack that fits on the roof. It takes plenty of weight. Now, this one here comes flat packed to you and compromises of your five crossbars, your two end rails, and your wind deflector. 
Now this is the standard wind deflector. We also have a wind deflector that sits lower and can take a lightning. You can put a single row 42 inch or a double row 42 inch there. Uh, great for integrating into the roof rack. Now the roof on the D-Max comes with threads already in the roof. So we supply some pads, which you'll see behind me, that can fit on the roof. And then the roof rack basically sits on top and bolts on. Now, one really cool thing about this rack is the T-slots in it. Now we don't use proprietary nuts that you have to go buy from us. Here's a standard M8 bolt or a standard M8 washer, fits straight in. That way, you can put any accessories you want. So you'll see we got some tow hooks down here, just purchased at Bunnings. So you don't have to shop around to specific stores. You go to pretty much any hardware store and get accessories to fit. Like I said, the slots go all the way around. Top, bottom, all the sides. Mounting accessories on the side of the rack, I like using these quick fists. Very quick and easy. You can put things like a shovel or an axe. Here's Johnny. Now, if you plan on taking Jill Cab off road, you should highly consider some rock sliders. And with that, you should consider some really good looking rock sliders. The off road animal kit here. Not only does it save your car with its protection and strength, but it also looks great. Now we have this super strong backbone here, which your tread plate mounts to. That's great for non-slip surface. Then we have individual steel brackets that mount off the chassis. Quick, easy install. Uh, I'll show you how we put it all together. step on we're just going to measure front and back to make sure the step is centralized then we're going to do up all the nuts and bolts just to make sure they're super tight we got a strong slider and lastly we'll put the logo plate on to kit out the back of this ute we first start with the egr roll track the egr roll track is a great bit of kit not only is it a roller shutter to protect your gear inside but it's got these cool slots on the outside over the toughest part of the bed where you can mount accessories on top of that, we're gonna put the off-road animal goat rack. Now, it works with your central locking as well, which is fantastic, because if your ute doesn't have central locking, it can work with it. And you got a button just here on the outside that allows you to open and shut the roll shutter nice and quick. First up, we're gonna put the off-road animal pull-out tray in the back. It's a full extension pull-out tray, which is gonna allow us to get to the back of the ute nice and easy. That's first, then the goat rack. Let's get it on. <laughs> That's the off-road animal pull-out tray. Next, the goat rack. Why is it called the goat rack? Because it's the greatest of all time. Right on top of here. So that's the goat rack in its bare form on top of the roller shutter. Next up, we're gonna put a rooftop tent on, and then we're gonna put in the storage boxes and the jerry can.
build is done, the D-Max is expedition ready, let's take it out and have some fun. We've built the ultimate touring vehicle in this D-Max. On the front, you've got the off-road animal Predator Bar, which is fantastic for going off-road. We've designed it to take a winch for recovery, the recovery points for pulling you out. We've got lights there for visibility, and they're ready for communication with your mates when you're going off-road. Now, we've got the rock sliders in the rear bar, also for protection, super strong. The roof rack up top, lightweight, carries lots of gear. And what I love most is the goat rack and the rear pull-out tray fantastic for putting all your off-road gear. You've got a rooftop tent, your water jerrys, your fuel, your chainsaw, whatever gear you need in the box on the side, especially tied down to your pull-out tray. Great for easy accessibility for your off-road adventures. So if you have a D-Max and you want to turn it into the ultimate tour, check this one out.